All right, Kyle's here trying to give you a little bit of an overview on how to go through the Gorgon Cave quickly. On, this is on hard mode, so just whenever you spawn. Generally, you can wipe. It makes it easiest so that all of them are on the right timers. And so you can go and you can sprint. And uh, you can jump, stuff like that. Just don't shoot. You don't have to make a ton of noise. And then you can sprint up. And then once you get to this little middle rock, you need to stop sprinting. If you're on normal mode right now, you can just continue up on the left. But since we're on hard mode, there's a Gorgon that's stationary over there. So we have to go around this way. And I haven't seen a lot of people that have gone th uh, done this strategy because a lot of people want to jump out things. But I feel like this takes a, it's a little bit quicker. And then you have to wait for that Gorgon. No problem. And then you get to sprint. You get to sprint the rest of the way to go right into the cave. If you take the other way, you'll just pretty much hug the left wall uh, once you get through that middle island area. And then you just take like the first left into the area and then you take their first left again. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I guess I can also, yeah, I'm also going through this clip and I'm going to show you a uh, pretty easy way how to jump through the puzzle. Uh, there's one way that you can do is you go to the third platform. I, I'm not doing that on this one, but you got third platform and then most people can finish the jump and make it to the other side. So like one will spawn and that's one way. But the problem that I found with that is a lot of people have trouble going around the wall because there's a part of the wall that will push you off. So if you come this way though, I feel like it's a little bit easier. Personally, it's the way that I do it now and I definitely say it's faster. Uh, we had a little bit of delay right here because we had a guy that was AFK and so we just had to boot him from the party. Another way you can do this is if like people keep screwing up and they can't even do it, you can boot him from the party, go up, and then they rejoin and it allows you to just to, to start at the next spot. They'll, they'll be dead, but then they'll respawn once you have to wipe it. Okay, so normally you can look like you, you can hear a platform will spawn. But the one that you, and I don't really ever jump on that one. I jump on this one. So once you see it spawning, you can just uh, kind of fall, jump. On this one, I uh, I almost missed it. But I guess I've done enough times that I knew the range. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty easy way to get right across. All the platforms are pretty explanatory of where they're going to go. It doesn't, it's not like the other ones where they kind of like shift positions and stuff. And there you go. Like, it's just that quick. Yeah, um, twitch.tv, uh, look at the channel settings and you can see. All right, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Later.